So let's say that I have a function f of x, which is equal to 2x plus 1. And I also have a function g of x, which is equal to 3x minus 5. And now in this case, we're going to look at composite functions, which is where I might want to find what f of g of x is. And this is sometimes denoted as f with an open circle followed by a g. So what do I do? Well, instead of f of x here, we've got f of g of x. So everywhere I see an x over on my right hand side, I need to put what g of x is straight into here. So I take this 3x minus 5 and I pop it straight in for x because instead of an x, I have a g of x written here. So when I do that, I end up with two lots of my 3x minus 5 plus 1. So I get 6x minus 10 plus 1, which is 6x minus 9. And so if I wanted to work out what f of g of 2 was, well, I know what f of g of x is. I've worked that out to be 6x minus 9. So f of g of 2, I just pop a 2 in to my x. So I get 6 lots of 2 minus 9. So 12 minus 9, which is 3. Now, what's important to note is that f of g of x is not the same as g of f of x. So now what we're doing is we're looking at our g of x function so we come over here and we're looking at our g of x function and instead of an x, notice how I've got an f of x written in here now. So everywhere I see an x over on this side, I now need to put in an f of x. So I take this 2x plus 1 and that comes over here and goes straight in for that x instead. So I end up with three lots of my f of x take 5. And when I expand these brackets out, I get 6x plus 3 minus 5, so 6x uh, minus 2. So that is most definitely not the same as 6x minus 9. So we've seen that f of g of x is most definitely not the same as g of f of x, so they're different. Now again, if I wanted to work out what g of f of 3 was, well, uh, in this case, I do 6 lots of 3 minus 2, so I get uh, 18 minus 2, which is 16. Let's take a look at another example. So we might be looking at um, h of x, which is equal to x squared minus 1, and uh, m of x, which is equal to uh, 3x. Well, if I want to work out what h of m of x is, okay, I look at my h of x function, and instead of an x, I've now got m of x, which is 3x. So everywhere I see an x over here, I need to take this 3x and pop it in there instead. So I end up with 3x all squared minus 1, which is 9x squared minus 1, Okay, so if I wanted to work out what h of m of uh, 1 was, well, I would put a 1 into this equation here. So I would get 9 lots of 1 squared minus 1, which is 9 minus 1, so just 8 in this case. But what's really important to remember is that this side, h of m of x, is most definitely not the same as m of h of x. So if I take my m of x function, my 3x here, and everywhere I see an x, I now need to put in what h of x is, so an x squared minus 1. So x squared minus 1 needs to go in here for x. So when I pop that in, I just get 3 lots of x squared minus 1. So if I expand those brackets out, I get 3x squared minus 3. And that is definitely not the same as what we found over here, 9x squared minus 1. Uh, and when I try to evaluate something like m of h of 1, well, I pop a 1 in everywhere I see an x because I've evaluated what m of h of x is. So 3 lots of 1 squared minus 3, which is just 3 minus 3, so I get 0 in this case. So that's composite functions.